Hello and welcome back to the Beautiful Things channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different for you. It's a what I got for Christmas video. Now I follow loads of other mums in their 30s, 40s on YouTube, not necessarily crafty people, um, and all of them have done what they got for Christmas videos and I've been really interested to see what kind of stuff they were bought. Um, and actually, considering that I am quite a crafty person, this year I've received totally different presents uh, to the sort of presents that I normally get. So I haven't received any craft kits or anything else, um, but I have received lots of things that I can enjoy that will give me a little bit of rest and relaxation and let me look after myself, um, my health and my well-being. So I thought I'd share with you what I got. Now, we weren't buying lots of presents for each other as a family this year because we were going away, but Mr. Mac did that classic thing. I gave him a big list of things that I would like so that he could have just picked a few things off that list and treated me to just one or two of those things. But no, he went out and he bought the lot. So he has <laughs> spoiled me somewhat. Uh, but my main present from my mum and dad, I haven't actually opened yet. I'm going to open it next week when I go to work. I know what it is because I asked them for two brand new pop-up studio lights so I can get my lighting sorted when I do my videos. I'm at home today in the lounge and we just have an overhead light and as you can see it's all very yellow and orange um, but it's quite festive so I didn't mind today. So they bought me two really Really lovely big pop-up studio lights so I'm gonna open them when I get to work next week I didn't want to unpack them all and have to get them back into the box and then get them over to the studio so I took them to the studio and I'll open them there but they did get me a couple of other little bits now where are they Doo -doo -doo. yes my mum did treat me to a chocolate orange, which I'm not going to show you. A bath bomb from Wilco's, which I wanted, which was a rhubarb bath bomb. I do like my rhubarb. And she also bought me a candle from the White Company, which is their orange rind fragrance. I haven't lit it yet, but I think I might do this evening. But it smells absolutely lovely. I really like citrusy scents. I'm not one for florals. Um, so she thought she'd play it safe with an orange candle. My dad bought me my favourite rhubarb gin. Uh, this is Warner Edwards. It has already been opened. I have had some of it already um, with a nice fever tree tonic and it is absolutely delicious. My absolute favourite rhubarb gin is Spilsby but it is £45 a bottle which is insane for a bottle of gin. So dad played it safe this year. <laughs> with something in the 20s, I think this one is, I'm not too sure, um, but it is still absolutely delicious and really nice if you like a rhubarb gin. Now the kids bought me exactly the same present as they bought me last year, literally. These slippers are identical. They're by Dunlop and I have no problem with them being identical at all. They were super, super comfy when they were bought for me last year, but they did stretch and by the end of December I found myself kind of slipping and sliding out of my slippers, which is lethal when you're trying to come downstairs. So I asked for a new pair for Christmas and instead of going out and finding something similar, they went directly to Mr. Amazon and bought me exactly the same boots and they are super comfy so I'm very thankful for them. I have taken the old ones because yes they're stretched but they're not totally unwearable. I've taken them to work with me so I can wear them at the studio where I don't have to come up and down the stairs. I was bought lots of lovely treats um, by my clients and my customers and the lovely Elspeth bought a whole bag of goodies for our entire family but one of the things that was in there I wanted to show you is this beautiful tin. You can, I'll cover my face up, there you go. You can see it's got loads of lovely little festive pictures all over it. Now she bought this in Germany at the German Christmas markets and inside is a beautiful red organza bag. Excuse the rustling. And lots of gorgeous miniature marzipans. I absolutely love marzipan. Now I believe, or I have been led to believe, there may be more marzipan on its way for my birthday. 
also from one of my lovely clients was this gorgeous bottle of rhubarb gin. This time it has been made with her very own rhubarb from her garden. I did supply her with the bottle of gin or just a bottle of Gordon's I think it was and so that she could make me this rhubarb gin because she grows rhubarb in her garden every single year and has made me rhubarb gin for the past couple of years and it is absolutely delicious so this came my way this Christmas along with a little miniature bottle of Prosecco and some chocolates but they were gone before Christmas <laughs> the last gift from my clients and there's a bit of a theme going here as you can see this is actually from Maddie who as well as one of my clients is also one of my pupils she bought me this David's kitchen damson and slow gin and it came with this lovely little hanging decoration gin queen which I thought was great so from the kids I also got a book they always like to buy me a novel every Christmas this is by Millie Johnson and it's called the mother of all Christmases um, and it sounds ever so good just a nice feel good book feel good fiction all about a mum at Christmas time doing crazy things with her friends um, yeah I'm going to get round to that probably, well, maybe next Christmas. I'm a very slow reader. We went out for dinner the other night with some friends um, who've just moved here from the States and they gave us Christmas presents, which was really lovely. And they know me very, very well. So I did get a gift set. I've taken it all out of the box because I've used it already. But I got some lovely makeup bits from MAC. I got a super, super fluffy contouring brush which is really, really nice. Some gorgeous blusher, which is rose gold and so, so pretty. Um, it's called Beaming Blush Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And I think the color is Beaming Blush, but it's rose gold, ever so beautiful. And then I also got some strobe cream, which is also like a highlighter. And again, this is kind of a rose goldy unicorn sparkly color. So it will look absolutely lovely. Um, it's a shame I've not got any parties to go to over New Year. Um, but I'm going to get lots of wear from that, I'm sure. So on to Mr. Mac. Now he really, really did spoil me. My main present was from a company called Lime Life by Alcone or Alcone. I've not heard of them until very, very recently. Um, they are a network marketing company. They do all sorts of different skincare products and things like that. Um, and I met the lady who he purchased it from via an online forum that I'm a member of. And uh, she was always going on about these mirrors and they're called Reiki mirrors. Um, and this is it here. Now, as you can see, oh, there's my camera, look. It's got all these little lights around it and it has all sorts of different settings. I'm gonna turn it on, I don't know, this could really blind you, but we'll see. Ah! <laughs> Check that out. So you can see how bright it is. That's the lowest setting, but it goes really bright. Let's see. I'm going to completely blow you out. <laughs> So I'll turn that off, but it's really, really fantastic. You can get your makeup done absolutely perfectly. Now the lighting in my house is shocking. Um, I travel quite a bit and I always moan whenever we go to hotels that they're either have got a mirror on the wall with no light whatsoever above a dressing table or the mirrors to the left and the chairs to the right and you can't sit, you can't see what you're doing or you have to go into the bathroom and put all your makeup into the sink to be able to see in the bright light to be able to put your face on properly and it really, really bugs me. So when I saw these mirrors and I was told that I would be able to put my makeup on in a pitch black room just using this mirror, I thought it was too good to be true but you really can it's brilliant as an example when i used this the other day i saw eyebrows that without that mirror i could not have seen they were actually invisible but when i turned the mirror on i could see that i had loads of extra growth under here that i didn't even know was there um but it was interfering with how i was trying to put my eyeshadow on um, and i couldn't see them they were almost like bum fluff but when you put the mirror on they turned a really dark color and i was able to pluck them all out so it's super super good it does show you every single evil on your face though 
so if you have got any blemishes or anything like that that you maybe can't see just looking at you like this when you look in that mirror it tells some tales but it does let you do your makeup absolutely beautifully that and it's got gadgets that you can stick onto it there's a magnifying mirror that sticks onto it there's also a cradle that holds your phone and it's bluetooth enabled so you can bluetooth it and you can press the selfie button and it connects to your phone so when you've got your makeup on perfectly when you can see yourself perfectly in your phone attached to the mirror press the selfie button and it takes perfect selfies so if any of you um, are like makeup demonstrators or like unique reps for instance then these are really really good for doing your live streams so you can put your makeup on or get ready with me or something like that so I will try it um, I'll get it all set up and I'll give it a go because a couple of you have asked me about my getting ready makeup, my going out makeup. So I might do a get ready with me and I'll try and use my new mirror and see how well it does it, see how well it copes. But really, really lovely. Um, I will... I don't think I can put a link down below for it because I don't have a direct website. If I can, I will do. Um, the lady's name I bought it from was Lindsay. Um... But as I say, it's Lime Life by Alcone or Alcone. But I think it's an American brand. Um, but they are launching or have launched in the UK. So you should be able to get them now. So he also bought me some Elemis stuff, which I wanted. I wanted the papaya enzyme peel, um, which is like a face mask, but it's really, really nice. Rather than having, it's an exfoliator, but rather than using like exfoliating granules in a cream to rub into your face, which can be quite harsh, this is like a peeling mask. So you just put it on, it draws out everything, grabs hold of all the flakes and all the dry bits of skin, and then you just rinse it off with a wet flannel for 15 minutes later i've used it once and it really does make your skin feel lovely like a baby's bottom so i can highly recommend that he was very very naughty i know i showed you this in my likes video and wasn't going to buy any more until i went traveling in february but he has bought me a new pot of my favorite moisturizer which is the pro collagen marine cream and it is really really lovely so because he spent a considerable amount of money on Elemis goodies, oh, and he bought me a candle. This is also one that I wanted. They have lots of different fragrances um, in Elemis, but this one reminds me of spas and it's lovely. It comes in this lovely purple glass container with a lovely silver lid. And this one's called Fortitude. Um, and it does make me giggle because on the front it says bougie stimulante which I'm not sure whether it's French or Spanish or Italian um, but when I read it I just read it as boogie stimulant <laughs> so which made me laugh I was like oh what a great candle we light it we inhale it and it makes us want to dance everyone needs a good boogie stimulant but anyway, because he bought the three products, um, as with most cosmetic companies, when you buy a certain amount of things, especially at Christmas time, they often have um, special offers where they'll give you a goodie bag. So he picked this really lovely gold makeup bag, which is really, really nice. And it's packed full of loads of mini products. And some of them are really useful. Um, so there's a little mini um, cleansing micellar water, which is really good for when I travel. There is a mini version of my Pro Collagen Marine Cream. So again, that's good if I'm on a long haul flight, I can have that on the plane. There is a shower cream, which is lovely. Um, there's an anti-aging, I can't read this, it's in a little glass bottle. Anti-aging Pro Collagen Marine Oil. So that's basically like a really advanced, in-depth, version of my moisturizer that you can use at night time there is a little exfoliator gentle rose exfoliator some pro collagen eye cream which again is really useful and a peptide for night recovery cream so lots of really useful little things quite often when you get all the little bits and bobs in the gift sets half of it you don't actually use but i can see me using all of those things so that was really really nice especially i've got quite a few holidays and travel coming up in the next few months last but not least this one came home from his latest trip to the states 
a ginormous bag of peanut, no, not peanut, we're talking about caramel M&Ms, my absolute favourites. And I believe you can only get these in the States. So these are going to last me some time because I'm back on my diet. <laughs> So that's everything I got for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, I will be back twice in the next week with all of my crafty goodness, so fear not, the craft is still happening. This is just something a little bit different. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.